Welcome to the session on gamification. Um, we are going to show you a case study uh, from Wikimedia Poland, uh, a case study of, uh, of a very interesting and fruitful cooperation uh, with an IT company called Grow Aperion. And uh, my name is Natalia Czwik. I am executive director of Wikimedia Poland, and I am here together with our senior senior technical support, uh, Ada Jakubowska, and uh, Mateusz Fliger, uh, business developer from Grow Aperion. And uh, together we will present um, what we created together, how we did that, and how it works, and how it can be useful to use gamification to attract newcomers and to help them um, find their way in Wikimedia so that it's easier for them, more fun, um, and just makes them stay longer. Okay, hello everybody. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. It is really inspiring event. <coughs> it is my first Wikimania, so it is completely new for me. Uh, during uh, during today meeting, we would like to present you Grow Aperion's gamification platform, uh, which is designed to enhance uh, user engagement. Uh, gamification uh, gamification is a kind of a trick uh, I hope uh, I hope we can show it here uh, and uh, we want to say a few words about uh, how as Natalia mentioned how we want to attract uh, newcomers and make uh, make their learning path easier thanks to gamification. <clears throat> of course, we will talk about uh, origin of our cooperation, uh, about results of this, uh, of this cooperation, and finally, of course, we will uh, show you a short live demo. Uh, we, we, we hope we will succeed. It will work. <coughs> okay. Grow Aperion is a um, technology company. Uh, Grow Aperion belongs to Tenderhut Group. Tenderhut is a Polish technology group listed on Warsaw Stock Exchange. Uh, working with us is safe because we employ, we employ more than 400 uh, high, highly skilled people. And uh, that's why we can support our customers. Uh, we can share with them um, with our good uh, ideas, our uh, innovative uh, ideas. So, uh, well, I. <laughs> so I al so I always emphasize that uh, our group, uh, our group. Uh, employs uh, people who are full of uh, full of new innovative uh, ideas but let's try to organize the concept what gamification is according to definition gamification is the process of incorporating game like elements and principles into non game context to engage and motivate people to achieve their goals. It involves applying game design elements such as points, badges, leaderboards, and challenges to create an, an experience that encourages participation and enhances user engagement. <laughs> A bit formal. Okay, but let's consider why do we like playing games. It, do, it does not matter if we mean playing games on your mobiles, on consoles, or even table games. Table games, as you know, are reborn for last 20 years. 
Furthermore, part of us like to compete in sport activities, spending time, energy, and money. Yes, that's true. We all like sport gadgets. So, why do we do that? Because we want. This is very important. Playing is voluntary. You know what is voluntary because you are uh, Wikimedians. So, we like playing because we want, because we feel good on doing that. This is a kind of natural, natural need. Um, you know that thanks to games or to sport, sport games, we compete without aggression. We gather points, we can compare with each other, and this makes us satisfied. And we are also very good motivated, because next game we want to be better. So that's why, that's why uh, gamification, which based on games elements, works. It really works. And the point I like the most is good company, because we are social animals. We like being each other, with each other, we like uh, playing together, we like sharing our passion and hobbies between us. So that's why uh, gamification is considered uh, as something really, really uh, effective. Effectful. Okay, so a little bit of background, uh, how did the whole co cooperation started? Um, there are some, some people believe that uh, when it comes to conferences, uh, these are not the sessions that are most important, but what happens between the sessions. Of course, Wikimania is an exception. Um, but um, on one of the events, uh, Economic Congress uh, in Karpacz, a city in Poland, uh, it's a huge event. Um, annual event where all the decision makers, um, government officials, business leaders uh, arrive. And we were there and during a spontaneous networking uh, session we met uh, Groperion and just um, several months later decided to, um, to have a barter deal and do something together. Um, so what is barter? Uh, this is not uh, charity. Uh, it has nothing to do with donation. Uh, it's a partnership deal where both sides provide certain services. Uh, so uh, in our case, in case of Wikimedia Poland, we provided Grauperion uh, with our expertise uh, to create the platform that is useful for our community. Um, with necessary content for the platform and uh, with the promotion. Uh, and a part of promotion is, of course, an event like this. Um, but we just believe that this is a very useful uh, case study to, uh, to show. And uh, from the part of Grow, Grow Up Urian, uh, there were other services. Yes. <clears throat> Despite the difference between us, because Groaperion is just a commercial company, tech, tech company, and Wikimedia Polska is NGO, but we both believe in culture of sharing, the culture of uh, collaboration and the culture of social participation. So we are happy to support, uh, to support this project, we are happy to support this community, and, well, for us, it is the good opportunity to promote the idea of gamification. And as I mentioned before, um, gamification is a kind of trick because uh, if, we, if we can uh, find feelings which we find when playing uh, and, and do something voluntary in daily Mm, daily actions like working, like learning, then we are better motivated to do that. So, yes, 
for me, this is a good opportunity to promote the idea. So I, I appreciate that. Uh, one more important thing. Uh, the value of services within the partner uh, barter um, partnership has to be equal. Meaning that if we were um, provided uh, with services from Grow Up Herion, uh, and their value is, let's say, I don't know, 50,000 uh, Polish Zlota, then our services have to have the same value. And now I pass voice to Ada. Yeah, hello. Uh, so the result of this partnership uh, is a platform, platform that helps newcomers to, to enter to the world of Wikipedia, Wikimedia, uh, we called it uh, Academy of Wikimedia, uh, and I will show you this platform at the end of this presentation. But uh, one of the most important information about it is that uh, this platform focuses on simple tasks like editing existing articles on Wikipedia, uh, like uh, adding footnotes uh, or categorizing articles. I think that um, creating completely new article at the beginning of our journey is really hard. And this step-by-step -step learning, it, it helps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and of course, this platform is really visually attractive. It also helps in this learning process. So how we, how we create this platform? Uh, we started this the process uh, by creating a tree schema in Miro <laughs> with four models. Uh, there is a first one is welcome to Wikipedia. Is a few words of welcome and uh, the main uh, rules of Wikipedia called uh, five pillars of Wikipedia. And then second one is getting started with Wikipedia. Uh, we discuss the basic features of Wikipedia, uh, how to create an account, uh, how, uh, where to look for a help, or I don't know how to easily start editing. The next one is get to know the Wikipedia community. Uh, in this section, we invite users to get to know uh, Wikipedia creators themselves. We discuss uh, their slang functions and uh, activities. And we also mentioned uh, the Wikimedia Poland and its role. Um, the last module is start editing Wikipedia. There we uh, explain how to, I don't know, how to add uh, some info boxes, how to add images, how to add tables and uh, so on. Um, then, of course, we consulted this schema with uh, uh, Viatoro, who is uh, our wiki guide, uh, and started to create it all content of uh, this course. So, yeah, this part was the most of work, <laughs> but I have a lot of help from volunteers and from Wikimedia staff and from from wiki guides, wiki trainers, uh, so I'm really grateful for that. We also created with Jarek a uh, few of short videos that shows different activities of wiki, of, of editing Wikipedia. So yeah, I think they're really useful because uh, we don't want to watch hours of uh, videos training videos when we have difficult with just one activity. So yeah, after that, I set up a few things like, I don't know, email templates, uh, group settings, scoring levels, and so on. And we finally could start testing our platform with wiki trainers. I've got a lot of feedback. I could uh, improve this platform, this content of, of platform, and uh, all feedback that I've got about uh, platform, I could send to Rafał, who, who supported me uh, from the uh, Grow Operion site. Unfortunately, Rafał couldn't be with us today, but we have Mateusz, and Mateusz will say a few words about 
uh, platform itself and uh, and about technicals uh, pr platform technicals so yeah don't worry it is short part because i know it is boring uh, our platform ba is based on microsoft azure uh, cloud technology uh, it comprises uh, three important elements one is of course multi-tenant architecture uh, which allows to manage and isolate data uh, and resources uh, for different clients that make uh, using the platform uh, safe and uh, privacy is uh, assured. And next is uh, Azure Function. Uh, this is simply, this is the power of, of serverless uh, computing. So um, you don't have to worry about uh, infrastructure structure management, uh, lack of resources, etc. And uh, the last one is Azure, uh, so-called Azure QE storage, which assures uh, communication between different services or components. So this makes the platform really uh, resilient. So generally, it, the platform is designed to be safe and um, easily accessed via web browser in any time, anywhere. All you need is the account, of course, with your password and internet access, that's all. And this is the general scheme of the architecture. Uh, you see, our main goal is to make it safe and easy, simply safe and easy to use. So your concern is only this first left part. The rest is ours. You don't have to worry about, uh, about the rest. So we think that the more work and wisdom we put into platform design, the less uh, complexity uh, users have. Okay, uh, could we change the screens? Oh, great. So, this is this platform. This is the main page of this platform. It's in Polish, but uh, we can easily switch languages to the English. Uh, this is my account. Uh, so, yeah. Mm, and at the top of this page, we have menu where you can find my KPIs, group results, tasks, rules, knowledge base, uh, and I think this is the most important place in this platform, <laughs> and FAQ and my results. Um, at the middle of this page, we can see a few buildings. Each uh, user have his own building. And uh, if you get points from these tasks and quizzes, your building getting bigger and bigger. And this is a part of the gamification. This is compared, yeah. And at the bottom of this page, we have three frames. First one is news. It's few words of welcome from me. Uh, then we have quick access to, uh, to our tasks and group results. There are names, but uh, for the purpose of our presentation, we change changed them. So, yeah. Uh, maybe we can go to knowledge base. I will show you how it looks like. It needs to load. Let me add here that the platform is designed to be easily implemented in different languages. Our biggest commercial customer uh, who operates in 15 countries has his local language platform in every of the country. So it is uh, not a big challenge to translate to translate uh, the platform it is prepared to uh, to to be distributed locally great 
<laughs> so we are in knowledge base. Uh, it's in Polish because we have uh, a content in Polish because it's for our our Polish community. Um, but uh, there is some plan to to translate this uh, in the future. <laughs> so yeah, we have here uh, this uh, models, these four models that I mentioned. Welcome in Wikipedia. Uh, first steps: uh, get to know uh, Wikimedia society and uh, go and edit Wikipedia. Uh, every model has a few lessons uh, and we can go to one of them. This is how lesson look like. Uh, we have some video. This video, video is uh, Natalia Shafran video. I think you know her. <laughs> Uh, and explain first pillar of Wikipedia. We have video and then we have some text. Uh, this text is from video, so uh, if you want, you can watch or you can read. Uh, it depends on what you like. And at the bottom, we have some links uh, to go to the next chapter or uh, back to previous one. So we can go to the next. And here we have next chapter, uh, and if uh, after if after chapter we have some quiz or some task, there is also a link. So this is uh, a quiz, and there is few question to check if you understand, uh, if you understood this uh, this lesson. Um, yeah, we also have access to tasks from here. Here we have tasks and quizzes. I have only two. I don't know why. Maybe this is because I have uh, this administrator account. But uh, tasks send you to uh, straight to Wikipedia to do some uh, to do some activities. And then you need to back and send us proof that you do this uh, one edit or, or you categorized some article. And the quizzes are inside this platform. So this is just the questions to check, to check if you understood uh, uh, a lesson. So yeah, we have also some rules and the manual. So we don't left you alone in this platform <laughs> and yeah I think this this is it uh, this this is all about this platform uh, can we switch to the presentation please Good. yes I, I would like to add here that the shape of the knowledge base is up to you for example uh, it's it is um, your uh, creativity, uh, how this uh, knowledge base will look like and uh, consist of what so-called knowledge pillars. Because uh, Ada uh, has shown us here, uh, for example, uh, you know, some chapters, but you can you can design all chapters with, uh, let's say, multimedia, multimedia clips. It, it, it is up to you how, how the knowledge base uh, will, looks, will look like. Yeah. So uh, now I just want to mention our first results. Um, the first official group started our course uh, at beginning of July. And there are 36 people that uh, have registered and are going through our course and we have some first feedback from them uh, that uh, the um, that this platform is really useful for onboarding new employees or interns and uh, this was from our intern <laughs> and uh, also provides an introduction to uh, the complicated world of, uh, of Wikipedia. Um, another one was that uh, they were very happy that uh, the knowledge base prepares them to, to these tasks that we, uh, that 
that we give them in this in this platform. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a good start. <laughs> yes, I want to thank uh, all individuals uh, who decided to uh, learn their first wiki skills with uh, Grow Aperion because they are true pioneers and uh, I hope they will recommend this path, this learning path to next newcomers. Yeah, we will start another group with uh, beginning of September, I think. Yeah, this is a plan. So we invite you all to, to, to go and check this platform. Uh, so this is it for now. If you have any question now, now I invite you to, uh, to ask. Hi, so um, about a decade ago, the Wikimedia Foundation funded a sort of onboarding game uh, for English Wikipedia called the Wikipedia Adventure. And it has a very distinctive art style and it's sort of like, it walks you through step by step. So highly encourage you to check it out if you haven't. Oh yeah, thank you. I will check it, of course. No? Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and no after the first second. Okay. <laughs> What's in Oops? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so for the record, the, the, Wikib the Wikimedia Adventure uh, was part of a research and it's been proven being not effective to retain people on wikis. And this is my question to you, but you just started the project, but maybe you already have some ideas of people who continue or if people dropped. And I'd like to know if uh, people have the feeling of not being ready to edit the wikis. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, just to know if people left you the, the class and don't feel ready. We don't finish this first group yet, so I don't have all of feedback. Uh, but uh, our intern <laughs> and this, and he uh, didn't know this Wikipedia word earlier. So uh, he started to editing Wikipedia. And uh, he said to me that uh, it was really easier to uh, go through this uh, platform then find something some information on wikipedia so yeah hello uh, i have two questions the first one is there any communication going on on that platform so can the group together discuss certain issues like oh that didn't work out or i had problems with the community at that place and the other one is you said after uh, finishing a task people have to go back to the platform and give you some kind of proof. Uh, is that perhaps automated, like do two edits with the reference uh, and you could get that via the API or do five edits in the namespace X and things like that, so that there's an automation connecting to the Wikipedia uh, username? Unfortunately, it's not uh, automated, uh, but uh, we want them to, to share screenshots of their last edits or uh, give us uh, some link to, to his main page, uh, user page, uh, or something like that. I don't know if this was answer of you on your question. Yeah. Uh, no. The first one about communication inside the platform? Yeah, there, there is no uh, communication now. Mm, yeah, this is something that uh, we could work in. Yeah, some, some chat in this platform. Yeah, this is a good idea. We are at the beginning of the road, so yeah. we, are open to, we are open to feedback. Uh, and, well, we will see. If it uh, if it will work in the in the future, because now, uh, as Ada said, the the start was one month ago. In fact, so it, it, it is very short period to to be analyzed deeply and to conclude uh, 
if it if it is attractive or not, if it is efficient enough or not. Thanks. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation growth team created a set of tools to help newcomers making their first steps on the on the wiki. These tools have been deployed at Polish Wikipedia for like more than one, more than a year, I believe. Have you integrated these tools to your experience? Uh, I have this growth team uh, newsletter <laughs> in Wikipedia, yes. Um, but uh, integrate what 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 you meaning? So growth features provide um, a mentor to any new account. Oh, yeah. And yes. also, they suggest some tasks people can work on so that they can make useful edits while uh, arriving on Wikipedia, which is often a challenge. Yeah, this is one of the first tasks to, uh, to ask uh, his mentor to say hello and ask first questions and uh, to do some first edit from this proposal edits in the home page. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, there is some question. Uh, again, too, um, there's no link in the presentation. Is there something, I know we can't log in, but at least we can see mm. as a internet user uh, and the other thing is is that um, is it possible to take that to other countries so is it open source somewhere or is it uh, yeah how is the scalability so I will answer uh, on this first question uh, I will put here to this presentation some link for a form to, to sign to, to our platform uh, but uh, you can't uh, so uh, see this platform uh, without account. Yeah. And the next one, I think, is to Mateusz. No, it is not open source. Uh, so uh, our uh, our cooperation here locally in Poland is based on, as Natalia said, on so-called barter services. And uh, if we if we will extend. Uh, if we will extend um, the platform for uh, next countries or regions, this is the question of uh, this is the question of uh, some discussions and negotiations uh, between us and, for example, local Wikipedia organization. Uh, how to do that? Uh, Is there some more question or? Okay, so thank you very much. If you thank you very much. If you have some other question, you can email us uh, or just catch us at the corridor. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, the presentation is uh, accessible uh, f for everyone, yes. So uh, all contacts, contacts you have here I'm open to discuss uh, and well, enjoy the rest of Wikimania. Thank you.